Hello there, everyone. I'm Lillis Fox, and welcome to the very first episode of Turnips and Tea, a brand new weekly series on my channel. Every Sunday morning, I'm going to grab my Switch, brew a cup of tea or coffee, and play some Animal Crossing while checking in with all of you and chatting about whatever is on my mind. Sunday morning is my absolute favorite time to play Animal Crossing. I play early in the morning, before anyone wakes up, with a hot tea or coffee in hand, a cozy blanket, and usually a cat snoozing on my lap. It is a time for me to relax, process my thoughts, and to practice wandering aimlessly. And for those of you who have been tuning into my videos for a little while, you know that I adore Daisy May. I love everything about her. Her design, her ties to Joan from previous Animal Crossing games, and most of all that she just wanders about the island on Sundays, taking in the sights, never concerned with whether or not she will sell any turnips or run into anyone at all. As someone with anxiety, this is a level of mindfulness that I work hard to find for myself, and Animal Crossing has always been a guide for me on that journey. I am lucky enough to have two islands, and I've been so focused on my newly restarted island, Alderwood, that I haven't spent time working on my other island, Elmwood, in a while. If you'd like to check out my Let's Play series for Alderwood, you can find the first video here. Last time I played on Elmwood, I had been doing some time traveling to kick off a villager, so things are pretty messy. I figured we could chat while I do some cleanup, and then maybe think about what I'd like to work on next. Elmwood has come a long way, but it's still very much a work in progress. I have a few areas that I've been working on terraforming that now need to be decorated and developed, a few areas that are still flat that I need ideas for, and two villagers, Poppy and Shep, that still need to be moved off the beach. Elmwood has a simple, rustic, and foresty feel. My biggest inspiration while building it was the Shire. Growing up, I loved reading The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, and those stories remain a comfort to me. I have always admired the simplicity of the Shire in particular, from its breezy farms, winding rivers, and soft forests, to the culture of community and companionship, to the understanding that sometimes there's nothing better than a good meal, a book, and a warm fire. While building Elmwood, I've kept everything I love about the Shire in mind. I have no plans for moving out any of these villagers. I love them all dearly, but I don't have a snooty at the moment. Eventually, I'd like to bring in a snooty to get some of the reactions that I'm missing. So if you have any ideas for a snooty that might fit in with this motley crew, please let me know in the comments below. So it's a cozy, rainy Sunday. This is one of my favorite ways to play Animal Crossing. I just get to walk around in my little bare feet and just enjoy the sights and sounds of the rain. I will say that I miss the way that the rain would change the music dramatically in New Leaf. If you've never played New Leaf, you should at least go and check out the soundtrack. The music for New Leaf is next level good. The music for New Horizons is beautiful and well done, but it doesn't hold the same magic for me. So let's just start putzing around and cleaning up. As you can see, I have a ton of flowers on the beach that need to be dealt with at some point, but we'll save that for another day. This campsite area is brand new. I just started building it when I played last. I love the little fishing lake, but I need to figure out what I'd like to do for the peninsula, and I need to fill out the rest of this forest path and do some decorating. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you've definitely seen this winding river path before. It's one of my favorite areas on Elmwood to photograph. For me, a forest-lined path beside a river is as hobbity as it gets, and I love when I see my residents walking this path or sitting on one of the little stools I've left purposefully around for them. Oh, KK is here today, I guess because the bug off was yesterday. I'm pretty proud of my resident services area because I think I've done a good job making it feel like a community center. I wanted it to be a space where residents would gather, on the benches, at the communal table, and it makes me so happy to see them hanging out here all the time. 
So one thing on my mind today is the autumn update announcement. If you haven't already seen the announcement, I've linked a trailer breakdown by Silky Games, who happens to be my darling girlfriend, below. Honestly, the update surpassed all of my expectations. Lately, I've been feeling burnout for sure, but I was also feeling like maybe there wasn't as much to come for this game as we all hoped or expected. In the beginning, the first few updates were really exciting and seemed to bring a lot to the game. But then, as we went along, the updates seemed to lose a lot of their magic for me. I don't know if it was the way that I was playing the game or general burnout, but I started to feel that maybe there wasn't so much magic left to come for this game, and that updates wouldn't be where I would find that magic. And so that's when I changed the way that I was playing the game so that I could find my way back to what made the game special for me. But now I'm starting to think that there might be more in store than I thought, and some of my original thoughts on what might be to come have come back to me. And one possible update that I've been thinking about the most is what might be coming for the shops, and Able Sisters in particular. I have a video coming out for my Alderwood Let's Play series soon on Able Sisters, so I've been spending a lot of time thinking about Sable, Mabel, and Label, and their story. And while I've been working on that video, I noticed that a lot of Mabel and Sable's dialogue is about their nostalgia for living together as a family under one roof. They are proud of Label for setting out on her own to pursue her goals and dreams, but they also really miss her. And maybe that's just a lesson on family. We all grow, we all change, and sometimes there is no finding your way back to what family looked like when we were kids. And that's okay. But it also got me thinking, what if Label moved back to the shop? What if the shop upgraded to include her on the top floor, perhaps, selling her own designs? And of course, this has been a fixture for Animal Crossing games in the past. The shops develop and change, especially Nook's Cranny. So what if one of these updates coming our way, even the Autumn update, includes the possibility for the Able Sisters to evolve in this way? And this got me thinking about the way that Able Sisters started out in New Horizons, as traveling merchants visiting resident services from time to time. Much like Kix, much like Leaf. And then this got me thinking, could we see a brick and mortar space for kicks in a future update? What might that look like? Would it be its own separate building, or might it be an extension of Nook's Cranny? In New Leaf, Nook's Cranny undergoes a number of renovations, culminating in the creation of an actual mall. Could we see Nook's Cranny transform into a mall in this game? And what would that mean for my simple rustic islands? I'm not sure, but if we do get a mall, you better believe I'll be hiding it behind trees and cliffs. No matter what is coming for us, I'm just glad that I've found my way back to the excitement and hope I used to have for New Horizons. But I have to say, I'm not sure how long this hope will last if we don't get news of Brewster soon. I miss that pigeon so much, and I can't believe we might go through autumn without any news of Brewster and his cafe. I mean, really, what is a walk through a sprawling pumpkin patch without a nice hot cup of Brewster's Best Coffee to go with it? So I think we'll wrap up here for today. Next time, I think I'd like to work on building up the campsite area and maybe decorating around Nook's Cranny and the museum. Thank you so much for listening to my first turnips and tea. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more episodes in this series, as well as Let's Plays, Dream Tours, and so much more, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Take care, friends, and see you soon.